If you're trying to decide whether you should hand milk or use a milking machine for your dairy sheep, then this video is for you. I'm Natalie Lucier from Waykeeper Farm and Nerdery, and I'm out here in the greenhouse today talking about whether you should hand milk or use a machine and kind of what we did and what I recommend for you. So obviously every situation is going to be different. There are pros and cons to both systems. So let's get into it. Some of the benefits of hand milking are that, well, it's completely free. So you only need a bucket or a jar to contain your milk, you don't need any expensive equipment, and it's a lot easier to clean up too because you don't have to wash a machine. Now the downside of hand milking is that it does take a little bit longer per sheep. So if you are especially not comfortable yet with hand milking, it will take a little bit longer for each sheep. So we were averaging maybe five to 10 minutes per sheep by hand, and I can go much faster with the machine for maybe two to three minutes per sheep if I am timing everything properly. So to give you some context, when we first got our dairy sheep, we got sheep that were already in milk. So they had already been freshened, they had already had their lambs, and that gave us kind of a quick start because we didn't have to figure out lambing from the beginning, and we could just head in and start milking right away. Now the downside is that we had never milked sheep before, so we had to figure out how to milk them, and we decided to do it by hand for the first year. And I absolutely recommend doing that if you have never had dairy animals before. It's great to have a full year or at least several months of hand milking experience so that it really gets your muscle memory in there and you know how to do it going forward. And that's because sometimes mechanical things fail or you might not have power for your milking machine. So I highly recommend being able to hand milk even if it's not going to be your long-term way to milk. So for us, we had to figure out how to hand milk so we got our sheep in the afternoon and we had to milk them that night and we didn't really know how to do it. I had watched tons of YouTube videos and luckily we did figure it out but it was super hot, it was the middle of summer when we got them, and we were just trying to figure out how to milk in our stalls. We didn't have a stanchion yet, and so I have recommendations for all of these things in other videos, how to get started milking, how to build your first stanchion, so definitely make sure to subscribe to this channel for all of those other videos too. Now let's get back on track. So some of the benefits of hand milking is also that you get more muscles. So definitely notice that my forearms got stronger, my hands and my finger muscles got stronger from doing hand milking, so it is definitely a great thing for your muscles and your body. Now the flip side again is that it could potentially hurt you if you're not doing it properly or if you have a bad back and you're not used to bending in certain ways. So it's important to also think about that. You need to make it sustainable for you because it's something that you have to do on a regular basis, daily, sometimes twice daily, depending on what your milking schedule looks like. So you wanna make sure that you're not going to wear yourself out. It's also really nice to be able to have somebody else who knows how to milk if you're hand milking so that if you ever get sick or you have a child or you have something that comes up, you wanna go away for a little while, it can be hard to have someone place you if you're the only person who knows how to hand milk. Now we did end up buying a milking machine and we chose a Simple Pulse and I'll have another video all about the Simple Pulse, whether I like it or recommend it and all of that soon. But what I wanna talk about is some of the pros and cons of using a milking machine. So I already talked about how it can be faster. I talked about how it's an extra machine that you have to purchase. So yes, it does cost money, it has up front cost and then there's also the ongoing electricity costs and the time that it takes to clean. So those are kind of the downsides of using a milking machine. But there are so many upsides. So first of all, it is so much faster and also you get a lot of other benefits like cleaner milk. So this is something I didn't consider until we got our milking machine, but when you're hand milking, you might have debris, you might have a sheep kicking a bucket or you might have just little pieces of hay and straw and wool that fall into your milk and so you really have to filter it well. But with a milking machine, since you have the attachments directly on the teeth, the milk goes straight into your jar, and yes, you can still filter it, but I've found that there's a lot less debris and just yucky stuff in the milk all the time, which is amazing and a huge benefit in my mind. Another benefit of milking with a machine is that you tend to be a little bit more efficient and get more of the milk out. Now, that's not a guarantee. If you're an excellent hand milker, this may not be the case, but what I've found is that we tend to be able to get more milk when we're using the milking machine than when we did when we were hand milking. And I think that is because we were not super experienced when we got started with hand milking, but using a machine, we tend to get all the milk out, or at least as much as we can, and that has resulted in a lot more milk, and it really feels like it's more worthwhile to have dairy sheep when you're getting more milk per sheep. Another benefit for us of using a milking machine is that we have young kids around and we're often milking when they're here, and so that means that we need to keep an eye on them and also try to milk at the same 
same time. And it's just way harder to do when you're hand milking because you need to be focused on your hand motions and really milking properly. When you have a kid in the background or you know climbing something, you wanna make sure you can an eye on them. So the benefit here is that with a milking machine, you can just attach the attachments on the sheep while the milk is flowing. You can keep an eye on the kids or do something else. And then, you know, obviously keep an eye on the milking machine too, but it's a lot less hands-on and I can have my eyes open on the other areas of the farm. Now, another bonus of having a milking machine is that you could do multiple sheep at the same time. So as you scale up and if you decide that you want a lot more dairy sheep on your farm, if you have two stanchions, you can have two different attachments and then milk at the same time if you have a lot of dairy sheep. And that's great as you start to scale up or have more of a production style system in your, in your farm or your hobby farm. But for us, we just do one at a time, but that's a great benefit to know if you did have more sheep down the line that you wanted to milk or if you wanted to get into more dairy sharing or whatnot. It's a great way to go too. Another big bonus for using a milking machine is that you can train someone else to use it. So if you are teaching someone how to hand milk, there's a steep learning curve. Whereas for a milking machine, you can usually get somebody to come and replace you if you need to go away or really do anything on the farm. You can have someone to come in, learn how to use the milking machine. It's pretty straightforward and it's much easier to get someone trained on that than to get them trained to completely hand milk a dairy sheep. So what's the verdict? Well, I think there are huge benefits to both being able to hand milk and also having a milking machine available so that you can just do it a little bit faster and make it more sustainable for you to keep milking your dairy animals. So personally, I am 100% happy that we got a milking machine. I think it makes it so much easier, more sustainable, something that we enjoy doing and that provides great amounts of milk for our family. And also I'm super glad that we spent our first year hand milking because we appreciate the machine so much more now that we know what it's like to hand milk instead of using a machine. So I think there are pros and cons to both. It's great to get started if you don't have a dairy machine yet and if you're not sure if you're going to keep dairy sheep forever or if you enjoy it or if you enjoy the milk. So it's a great way to test the waters, get some experience, and then also if ever something happens like the power goes out, which happened to us recently, you can dive back in, you have your muscle memory, you know exactly how to milk sheep by hand. So this is my recommendation for you. Figure out if you want to keep dairy sheep and if you want to do it by hand or if you want to get Get a milking machine. I have more videos all about how to milk sheep by hand and also what kind of machine we use and what we recommend. So watch those next videos now. <music>